Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we're not gonna get another dog just yet. Um, we've been doing our best to, to try and find a dog who will be good on uh, uh, in the middle position of the team and I think you are, what are you? You are, oh we can't actually see your personality here, can we? Yeah, I don't think we can. So we can't see Duncan's personality just yet. Um, we'll have to we'll have to check that when we go to put him in a race. Um, and oh yeah, one thing you guys have said too is that uh, I mixed up strong and steady. So it's a good thing we didn't actually get either of those last time because strong is going to be either lead or um, or wheel, and steady is wheel or middle. And so that's something that's uh, an important distinction. I got that mixed up with steady personality. Uh, we'll go ahead and enter this race, and then, Duncan, you're trying to become a middle dog. Oh, good, it's a moderate exhaustion race. Okay, in that case, I'm definitely putting Snowball in. Rory will go in the back, and we'll make sure to put Squirrel in the lead, because then these guys can all have a nice, easy race. And I think we should be okay. All right, let's see. So make sure everybody else is in training. And I think we should be good to go here. So 0% chance of faults. I think that'll be a good thing. And uh, hopefully this won't be too hard on <laughs> um, on our, our, our dogs here. I think what we should be good. Um, and a lot of you guys, we, last time we talked about, oh, and this is against the rivals. So hopefully this will go well. Um, but yeah, so we talked last time about the possibility of implementing a bit of an extra challenge. In that uh, we had to keep the, the, um, the breeding lines distinct. And uh, I don't think we're going to do that because a lot of you guys thought that that would kind of just be a hard and unnecessary challenge. And so we could have potential mixed breeding going on here. We're not going to try and maintain like a Husky line or a German Shepherd line. We're, we'll let them mingle potentially. And uh, it's not, it won't reflect, um, it won't reflect in the, uh, the actual look of, of the dogs, unfortunately. Like they didn't, they didn't do, they, they'll just, it'll, the game will randomly choose a breed. Um for any of the puppies between the parents' breeds. And uh, so it's not like we'll, we, they won't actually get to see. Oh no, okay, oh wait, okay, Duncan, 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 <laughs> hold on. Oh no, he did get tired. Oh man, I was hoping we could reach him before then. And I miss Rory. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we won't We won't actually, they, they didn't actually come up with, and I can understand why, because that'd be a little bit difficult. Oh, sorry, Rory. Um, but they didn't actually come up with like a, a, a German Shepherd Husky mix sprite or anything. It'll just pick between the um, it'll just pick between the two. Oh no! Okay, all right, we got the restock. That was timely. Oh, Rory, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we got she got out of time, or she got kind of. Um, I guess we mixed up her timing in there. Uh, but she should be okay. We'll just let her rest an extra day. We've got skills showing up everywhere here. My goodness. Um, and I think we should be good. Oh, come on, you guys. We're re catching up to the rival here. Just gotta hold on. And, oh, we're pulling ahead. We're good. Okay. <laughs> just barely, though. My goodness. Hey, he color-coded. Oh, no, he didn't. I thought for a second he had color-coded his team, too. But, no, he didn't. <laughs> um, but, yeah, okay. So, oh, her fatigue capacity is maxed out, okay, and she did get tired once, so she's got two fatigue, two fatigue, and everybody else just has one, and we got some rapport there, so that's good. And Duncan got the middle specialty! Oh my goodness, okay, 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 Duncan is great. Oh, and we're riding. <laughs> I beat that jerk in a race again yesterday. The crowd loves a rivalry, so my team got more famous. Okay, you guys, so hands down we're breeding Duncan, because he's the first time we've ever gotten a middle specialty dog, and on top of that, uh, his his favorite is, is petting. <laughs> and so we can literally just pet him to keep him happy. Uh, that is awesome. Okay, so he's able at the lead, natural at the middle, which is the first time this has happened, and struggle at the wheel. So what I think we're going to do is, um, let's get everybody, well, we'll get, we'll rest these dogs, oh, not these guys, we'll rest all of them. Oh, good, and there's quite, so there, there'll be quite a few who actually need to rest all at once, so we can't, we should be able to get that taken care of, and all these guys are good, nobody's still tired. And so we can literally just, let's make sure to pet everyone so that Duncan stays happy. And just because it's nice to pet the others too. Um, and we can just, oops, I want to keep it on training. I always forget what to click there. And we'll swap in Snowball here. But we're definitely going to breed Duncan because those are traits that we want to keep. So I feel like we may end up breeding, okay, how many middle dogs do we have? Let's change his harness color too because, uh, okay, what is the harness color? 
So 0, 70, 49. I feel like it's shifting slightly because we we um we choose different uh, different dogs to model it after each time. Come on, there we go. And I think it was 49, right? 49, 48. I think it's yeah. Okay, that'll work. There we go. Pretty close. And so that feels different from Aeon's. Did we miss? Did we mix this up somehow? All right. Oh, we had the saturation all the way up on hers. Okay, let's let's match hers a little bit more with the others so that hers isn't like super super brighter compared to theirs. Um, actually, I like having it really red for the shepherds though. So we'll kind of do it breed specific. Let's go here. It's gonna be hard to tell them apart now because they're in the same uh, position though. I'm gonna turn it all the way up for them and then Chase can have his be a little bit duller. Actually, Chase though isn't gonna be keeping his red harness, I don't think, for much longer. So uh, you guys be thinking here because I think when we start breeding our dogs, we'll go ahead and breed Duncan with someone. So you'll have to decide who do you think would be a good mate for Duncan. We're gonna try and get a middle dog puppy with petting, I think. But who do you think would be a good mate for Duncan? So let's go through our choices. Uh, so we have, first of all, we have Aeon. Um, actually, though, actually, I don't know that I really want to breed him with Aeon. Um, well, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. We have, oh no, we still do, we still have two middle dogs. Okay, so we need to have at least two middle dogs at all times, but we now have four potential middle dogs. And so as long as we keep Chase in the middle for the time being, so uh, I'll, I'll hold off on moving Chase around because eventually he'll be joining Rory in the wheel specialty. But um, for now, we want to see if he's going to end up being, um, like if we want to see if he, if, who we're going to end up breeding Duncan with. So the, our first choice here is Aeon. So let's just double check. So it does say if we look here, his, his he's male. So... Um, <laughs> just making sure we didn't get any naming mixed up there. So Duncan is male, so any of our female dogs are potentially eligible. So we could breed him with Aeon, who's been here for a long time. Dang, I didn't know we'd ha we've had that many days even. Um, and she is a German Shepherd as well, so the puppies would be guaranteed to be full German Shepherd. Um, she has the, uh, she would be at least, so we'd ha at least have a puppy that would be able at the middle, which would be a good thing, but a natural would be far better. Um... Her favorite thing is victory, and her fault is too proud, so she won't show when she's struggling. That's not a very nice fault to have, because you have to get the timing perfect then. And, um, victory, though, is not a bad favorite. Not quite as good as petting, but still not bad. And her skill is tangle-free, which is nice, but not all that helpful, because we generally don't have too much trouble with tangling. So that's Aeon, and then Shasta's male, Chase's male. We could breed him with Snowball, I believe. Snowball's female, right? <laughs> um, yes. And so she is ab also able at the middle and a natural at the lead, so again, we'd have a dog that's at least able at the middle, uh, which would be a good thing. And her favorite thing is fame, which is a little bit harder. I would say victory is generally easier to achieve than fame. Her fault is wavering, which is really bad. <laughs> um, or at, it, well, it's actually not terrible. It's not awful, but it it's one of the worst ones. Um, and let's see, her skill type is speed boost. I like her skill. That helps a lot. So she has a really good skill, especially... Her skill is generally better in lead dogs, but it can help even in middle dogs as well. So that's Snowball. Um, there we go. And Rory. So Rory, we don't even know her fault yet. It's never actually shown up. <laughs> uh, she likes consecutive catches, which is a pretty easy thing to get as long as you're racing your dogs. So hers is not a bad second to petting. I, petting is still nice because you can give it at any time. Uh, but Rory's isn't too bad either. Um, her specialty is the wheel, so she'd at least be able, or no, she, Rory wouldn't, so we wouldn't have a guarantee of having a dog that's at least able, because Rory is strong, that's right. So, Rory isn't good at the middle position, and so we'd want to be a little bit cautious about that, potentially. And, let's see, and her skill is Tangle Free, so again, not the greatest skill, it's not the one that helps us the most, but still not a bad skill to have. Uh, so that's Rory. And then there's Duncan himself. And last but not least, we have Squirrel. And Squirrel is female, yeah. Okay. So Squirrel is able at the middle, but not it's not her, her specialty. Um, so we'd still at least have an able middle dog. 
and um, so let's see here and then skill is tangle free so again not a great skill um, and her fault is bottomless pit and her favorite thing is victory so again a pretty easy one to get bottomless pit is just that she can't satisfy her hunger but I think if you feed her she doesn't tire out um, so yeah that's squirrel and then let's look at uh, let's look at Duncan and go through his his bio here um, so his favorite thing, or let's start from the beginning. So his skill is second wind, which seems to be a pretty nice one where he can, he can, he, I believe that's where he can will himself to keep going and not continue to be hungry. He, um, his fault type is tangle prone, which actually isn't a terrible fault because you're generally able to keep uh, him from tangling anyway. You just have to watch to make sure the dog stays spaced out. And um, he is able at the lead and natural at the middle, so that's definitely something we want to pass on. And um, what else did I miss? Oh yeah, his favorite thing is petting, and so that's definitely something we want to pass as well. So if we breed Duncan next time, which dog would you like to see him bred with? And I think we'll probably try and set up, for the sake of having a coherent family tree, we'll probably try and set up bonded pairs so, like, we won't just go breeding everybody with anybody. <laughs> um, so once we choose a mate for a dog, that's gonna be their mate. I think we'll set that up because that'll make it easier to establish a family tree. And supposedly this game actually does prevent you from directly inbreeding. I didn't know that, but in any case, I'm still gonna avoid inbreeding as much as possible as we go down the generations. And so we will introduce new dogs to the team from time to time, but we'll also be working a lot with the offspring of these dogs as we continue on. Uh, but anyway, I spent a lot of time talking. Out of all the dogs we have here, thinking both about their potential skills and just their potential relationship with Duncan in general, like how they seem to get along with him, how long they've been working with him, etc. Which of these dogs do you think would be the best mate for Duncan? And next episode, probably, we'll go ahead and try and breed him. Because I think we should be able to, if we go here, yes, we can. I think we can do breeding. So we should be able to do that. I think we're in a high enough league and we have enough slots in our kennel. We actually have a lot of empty space in our kennel because I've been expanding it every chance I get because it's just good to keep ahead of that. <laughs> um, so, all right. Uh, but with that, that's, uh, with that said, I think let's go ahead and keep going with these guys. We'll keep training them. And, um... So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I think it'll be interesting to see our first, um... To see our first puppy. And I think what we'll probably end up doing with these guys is... Uh, we'll keep an eye on their age and how long they've been on the team, and once that number starts looking pretty high, then we'll start, um, we'll start moving on, and we'll have some of our dogs eventually end up retiring, which means we'll take them off the team, we're not going to be using them anymore, and eventually we will hire new dogs onto the team, and that kind of just represents the flow of, at some point, dogs are, are going to be a little bit older, maybe not in top racing condition, and why did I do that? That was kind of pointless. Okay, Duncan... Where are you, Duncan? There we go. And you're going to be in the middle, and then Rory, you're going to be in the back. <laughs> um, and once we have more middle dogs, we will start. Put, we will put Chase at the wheel, but we need to make sure we have at least two middle dogs, and so as long as Aeon might be breeding or Snowball might be breeding we with Duncan, we need to make sure that we're going to have at least two. <laughs> and so I don't want to put uh, I don't want to put Chase at the wheel just yet until we're sure about that. Let's get everybody training so that nobody's losing skill while we're gone. And here we go. We'll go ahead and start. So Rory has just been basically a constant in this team all the time because she's our only wheel dog currently. Um, because she doesn't happen to be uh, good at the middle position. So she's just stayed as our, um, oh, what? I missed them both? All right. Oh, no, I didn't miss both of them. I just, I just missed Rory. Okay. That worked out. Well, a little bit chaotic there, but I think we'll be okay. <laughs> um, all right. Let's feed both of these guys. Three dog races feel so calm now. I'm so used to the four dog races and the constant chaos that is trying to feed four dogs that three dog races now just feel really, really easy going. Oh, and we've got, we've got skills coming out here. All right. And Duncan. Okay, that was actually good because then I didn't feed them too early. I think both of them activated the same skill, actually. But I'm not sure. And so the idea is we'll continue to run Seasons of Dog Sled Saga. And then the further in we get, the more the team will start to become kind of tailored to... Like, we'll, we'll see the legacy all these dogs leave on it. And we'll see how the... Um, 
we'll see how how the traits kind of pass down from generation to generation I plan on putting up like a family tree at some point and um, I'm making that I like I plan on I'm making a family tree Oop, Rory wasn't hungry <laughs> um, I plan on doing some sort of family tree so that you can, guys can see each dog and maybe that dog's traits somehow. I'm not entirely sure how I'll do that. I'm sorry, Rory. <laughs> I'm so used to having to feed these guys more frequently um, that I keep, I keep smacking poor Rory in the head with the treats. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that you guys can see even the dogs that have retired from the team, you'll be able to see their traits. And her fatigue capacity is maxed out, so she's actually not earning more towards her fatigue capacity. Nobody got extra fatigue, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I want to put that together at some point. I'm not entirely sure how, but we'll figure it out as time goes on. Um, and uh, we'll put together some sort of little bio for these guys, especially as we do start having dogs leave the team. I don't know if that will happen just yet. Actually, I'm going to put these guys on training, swap them out, swap everyone else in over here, just because I think that helps a little bit. I, I don't know how much it actually helps, but you know what? <laughs> uh, Greg is better, I think, at the caretaking than with the, um, with the training, so... Uh, he still does help us with training at some times, but not... Um, not constantly or not like we don't we don't use if we have the option then we'll generally have him help with caretaking okay four dog race let's go ahead and go hey it's another easy one okay so snowball yes um i'm gonna race shasta this time because we've had squirrel racing quite a lot and i think shasta could stand he likes yeah oh, yeah we need to race shasta because poor shasta has been out of the race for a long time 24 days ago I'm gonna put Duncan in because we want him to keep s skilling up. Oops, that's Rory. Uh, we want Duncan to keep skilling up. And uh, he does have an easy uh, fave to maintain, but we want to keep getting his skill up because he's gonna end up becoming a pretty stable middle dog at some point. And then Chase has... Okay, Rory's going in the back. Aeon had hers 24 days ago, and Chase had his 24 days ago. Um... I'm going to put Aeon in this time, and then we'll put Chase in next time, and we'll make sure everybody else stays training, because Snowball's been racing a lot. Um, oh. You know what, though? No, I'm going to take advantage of this and use Snowball, actually, because we need to get her trained up, too, so that they can start... She and Duncan can both start to handle the, the harder races. So we'll race the other team soon, and the sooner the better, because they're going to start to... Uh, they're gonna start to tire out otherwise, or like they'll start to get really, really sad if we don't because they don't have the petting, um, they don't have the petting one, and so, uh, we need to be cautious of that, but, um, okay, let's throw that up to Shasta, and there we go, um, but yeah, the more we can get that petting favorite in, the better, because that's gonna help our team a lot. <laughs> It'll be a lot easier to work with dogs that have a favorite thing of petting, because then we don't have to worry about them uh, running out of a favorite like if we don't get to race them enough we won't have to worry about the, them not having their favorite thing for a long period of time so we definitely want to work with that all right we got it to those guys but yeah hopefully we'll have a tougher race soon if we don't have a tougher race i'm still gonna race chase and aeon next time we have a four dog but i want to make sure we get this as much as possible all right oh barely missed okay all right and make sure we feed everybody hopefully on time there we go all right we should be good i think we'll be okay here <laughs> all right there we are oops i threw it to the wrong dogs darn it <laughs> uh, now i've messed up the ordering great all right oops stay forward snowball okay here we go and i'm gonna try and reset the ordering now that i managed to mess up last time all right, I missed both of them because of the flashing. You guys have told me that I should be more cautious with throwing the treats with the flashing so that I don't have that blocking my view, but uh, that definitely is something that we should be doing. I keep forgetting about that. All right, there we go, because if they catch it at the same time, then you can't see the flash, or you can only see the flash. All right, rapport up with Snowball. That's exactly what we want to see, and rapport up with Duncan. Did somebody get tired? I can't actually tell. I think somebody might have gotten a little tired. I think... Nope, actually nobody did. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and caretake. All these guys are going out there. And then these guys will come back here. And then we'll train the others. There we go. And we'll try for... We'll try for one more race here, I think. Because we've got one coming up pretty soon. 
And so uh, we'll try for one more race before we wrap up the episode. Let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't mean to keep him on caretaking. Darn it, we gotta change that to training. All right, there we go. Well, I think we'll still be able to get skills back up because we've got a couple of days before the next race. All right, yeah, we should be good. Okay, yep, yep. And the ones who are probably going to be going in the race will be um, will be trained anyway. Four dog team, okay. Oh, yes, this is the race we've been looking for. <laughs> All right, Rory, you're going to go in the back. And then Shasta, you're going to be in the front. And these guys both raced five days ago. But we'll have these guys race again because they are starting to get a little bit sad because they haven't had their favorites. Uh, this is a good race for the main team because you can see they've dropped from a dangerous exhaustion rate all the way down to a low exhaustion rate. And let's just make sure everyone here is going to be training. There we go. All right. So hopefully we don't see too many faults come out, but I don't think either of these guys have really bad faults either. And with a low exhaustion rate, I'm not too worried about them. I'm going to give it a little bit longer before I feed any of them. And then we'll go here. There we go. Perfect or perfect timing, right? Yep. There we go. And I think we should be pretty good. Uh, Chase's fault is a little bit... Oh, great. <laughs> Chase's fault is a little bit bad. Um, Aeon's is annoying, but we actually know it has to be time for her to catch because Rory was getting hungry and they have the same exhaustion rate. So when Chase is partnered up with, or not Chase, when, when Aeon is partnered up with Rory, her fault isn't that terrible because they get tired at the same rate. Uh, and so that's why it's so important on stuff like this to have like a buddy system going because if you have a dog that's too proud, then you can tell when, uh, you can tell when their buddy gets hungry that they're going to be hungry too as long as they have the same exhaustion rate. <laughs> so that's a really nice thing to have. All right, here we go. And, okay, oh. And again, I'm pushing it too, too soon with the, with the, um, <laughs> I'm pushing it too soon with the, the, the flashing there. Oh, neither of them were actually hungry. Sorry, you guys. I'm used to the younger dogs getting hungry. <laughs> All right. And everybody's doing well. I think everyone got their favorite. Yep. Nobody got excessively tired. We should be good to go. And uh, so that went pretty well. But I think we are going to go ahead and wrap up here. We've got more than enough for the, uh, the next, um, uh, for, we've got more than enough for this um, the next league here, and what I think we'll probably do is we'll pay our dues for this league one more time, and then try and qualify before the next time rolls around for the higher league, because I think if we look at our new dogs, so that would be Duncan here, Duncan is getting specialty. He's got level one, and he'll level up. He'll level up the next race. We have him in the middle. He'll get a new specialty, I think. Snowball is still specialty level one as well, but she should be getting a new specialty soon as well. And Squirrel is lead level two. And almost to... Oh, wait. Maybe it won't be quite that. I think maybe it takes a little bit longer. But even so, we're starting to see these guys get specialties. And because of that, that means they won't be as tired in the harder races, even when we go to the next league. Uh, if we look at the league office, do we have to have a five dog team, though, for, for the next one? Yes, okay, so maybe we won't just yet. Maybe we'll wait until we do the breeding and then um, then we'll do that. So I definitely like to see... Uh, I definitely like to try and breed Duncan with someone in the next episode. So you guys, your job is to tell me who you want to see Duncan's mate be. Um, again, the options are going to be Rory and Aeon and Snowball and Squirrel. And so any of those could potentially be Duncan's mate. And it's going to be up to you guys to tell me what you think would be the best match in terms of how they get along, in terms of how much they've worked together, how much they would know each other, and uh, in terms of which traits you think would be most compatible between them. And uh, so next time we'll go ahead and see how that has turned out. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.